The Aquabliss SF100 is one of the most budget-friendly shower filters out there, but does its 12 stages of filtration actually deliver cleaner, safer water? I decided to find out for myself and used a certified third-party lab to test the Aquabliss SF100 in my own home, so stick around to see how it performed. Before we jump into the test results, let's quickly talk about the cost and how affordable this Aquabliss model really is. At just under 50 bucks at the time of this review, it's one of the more wallet-friendly options compared to similar shower filters, many of which can easily run 70 to $100. Now, I'll be honest, many shower filters often feel overpriced compared to what they actually do, but this one, it's priced a lot more realistically especially considering it's a basic filter that really only reduces chlorine in your shower water. And replacement filters cost just 0.2 cents per gallon, helping make this Aquabliss filter one of the most affordable I've tested, not just up front, but in terms of ongoing cost as well. The SF100 is an inline filter that screws directly onto your shower arm upstream of your existing shower head. This setup is super convenient if you're already happy with your current shower head and don't want to replace it. Inside the filter housing is a single cartridge that treats the water before it reaches the shower head. The company boasts 12 filtration media, including calcium sulfite, KDF, activated carbon, various vitamin and mineral beads, and some more vague claims like magnetic energy. Sounds impressive, especially considering that many other shower filters use just one or two, but how necessary are all these different media? Well, this filter didn't deliver results that were any more remarkable than other basic shower filters I tested. It seems like Aquabliss might be relying on flashy marketing to make the filter sound more advanced than it really is. And you'll see exactly why in just a minute when we get into the test results data. Now, there are a few advantages that I do want to talk about first, the biggest being that it's super easy to install and maintain. Like most of the other shower filters we tested, we were able to install the SF100 in less than five minutes. We just had to remove our shower head, screw the filter onto the shower arm, and reattach the shower head to the filter. That's it, no tools, no hassle. As for maintenance, it looks just as straightforward. To replace the filter, all you need to do is unscrew the housing and swap out the cartridge inside. Aquabliss recommends replacing it every four to six months, depending on your water quality and how often you shower. In terms of flow rate, the SF100 had a pretty decent filtration speed of 1.5 gallons per minute in our testing. And while this wasn't the fastest of all the shower filters we tested, it also didn't noticeably affect our water pressure. Aquabliss does claim the filter supports a flow rate of up to 2.5 GPM. And finally, they do have some better company policies than others. They offer a 12 month warranty, which is one of the longest I've seen for a shower filter and a 30 day money back guarantee. That gives you plenty of time to test the filter and decide if it's right for you risk free. Now let's move on to the not so great aspects of the Aquabliss SF100. And unfortunately, there are quite a few. First, the filter is not certified by the WQA, IATMO, or NSF to reduce any contaminants, not even chlorine, which is the most common certification for shower filters. Now, while certifications are not legally required, they do provide peace of mind that the filter will perform as advertised by the manufacturer. So the lack of certification here is disappointing, though not entirely a deal breaker. What's more concerning is Aquabliss's marketing language. They use terms like certified in ways that might mislead customers into thinking that the filter has undergone official performance testing and achieved certification. When in reality, that's not the case. Simply swapping the word certified for genuine would make their claims more transparent and avoid unnecessary confusion. Though again, my hunch is that the use of this language is intentional, and this is unfortunately a deceptive marketing tactic that I often see in the industry. Then there's the filter's construction, which didn't exactly blow me away either. The housing is made of lightweight plastic with a chrome overlay, not metal, so don't be deceived by its shiny exterior. 
and when I first installed it, it did leak from the seal where it's screwed together. The overall build quality feels a bit flimsy compared to others, which had me thinking about its long-term durability. Another disappointment is that the unit isn't certified for material safety. And while this isn't unusual for shower filters, I do think it's worth noting for those who prioritize it. But the biggest letdown of all was the filter's contaminant reduction performance. For our analysis, we followed the same testing process we've used for all the shower filters we've reviewed so far. This involved sending water samples to a certified third-party lab using Simple Lab's TAP score service, as well as conducting a couple of on-site tests for chlorine and water hardness. We collected two samples, one from our unfiltered municipal water and another from the same water supply after installing and filtering through the Aquabliss SF100. I wanted to to see how well the filter could address contaminants with known health effects in shower water, particularly chlorine and its disinfection byproducts, as well as hardness minerals. So the lab detected bromodichloromethane, chloroform, and dibromochloromethane disinfection byproducts of chlorine at levels exceeding health protective standards. Bromochloromethane was also detected below the reporting limit, so the lab couldn't accurately quantify the concentration. Additionally, our DIY test strip measured about two parts per million of chlorine in the unfiltered water, and an on-site titration test confirmed a water hardness of eight grains per gallon. So why should you care about these specific impurities in your shower water? Well, they've all been linked to various health effects, either through dermal or inhalation exposure. Chlorine can irritate the skin by stripping away natural oils, and hardness minerals can damage the skin barrier, both of which can aggravate existing skin conditions like eczema. Disinfection byproducts, such as the trihalomethanes detected in our test, can pose risks through dermal absorption and inhalation, with studies linking them to both cancer and non-cancer health concerns. Given these risks in shower water specifically, we expected the Aquabliss to focus on effectively reducing chlorine and DBPs. The SF100 only reduced chlorine by 75%, down to 0.5 ppm, making it the first shower filter we tested that didn't eliminate chlorine entirely. There was only an incidental reduction in trihalomethanes, despite Aquabliss's claims that its filter could further reduce these contaminants. The filter also didn't reduce hardness minerals, although Aquabliss does not claim that it can. And their claim of a 12-stage filtration might be more of a gimmick than an actual benefit. It's possible that cramming so many media types into one small cartridge reduced the effectiveness of the more capable media, like calcium sulfite, activated carbon, and KDF. A simpler design with fewer high quality proven filtration media might have yielded better results. Aquabliss does offer other shower filter models that they claim are more effective at removing chlorine, but we can't validate these claims without further testing. Still, it's disappointing that the SF100 was not designed with a stronger chlorine reduction capability. So what about all those other filter media like mineralized and ceramic zeolite beads and magnetic energy that the filter contains? Aquabliss makes some pretty bold statements about additional benefits that our testing didn't support. They say the filter infuses high quality minerals to give you gorgeous skin, hair, and nails, and that it improves pH balance to soothe dry, itchy skin and reduce dandruff and eczema. Now, the mineralized beads didn't significantly increase detectable concentrations of minerals like calcium or magnesium, and the pH of our water was reduced by around 7% from 8.3 to 7.80, which makes sense given that carbonates were reduced by 75%, and it didn't significantly alter the concentrations of other minerals that contribute to a higher pH. There was a 3,227% increase in zinc from 0 0.009 ppm to 0 0.305 ppm, but this is most likely unintentional leaching from the KDF media, which uses a copper zinc alloy. We didn't test for vitamins, so we can't confirm Aquabliss's claims about adding vitamin C to the water. However, the lack of measurable improvements in some of the areas that we did test, like mineral concentrations or contaminant reduction, suggests that their claims may be more marketing than actual capability. So given its pretty lackluster performance with 
a few benefits sprinkled in. Would I recommend it to anyone? If you're on a tight budget, want a simple way to reduce chlorine and aren't worried about DBPs in your shower water, the Aquabliss SF100 could be a passable option. Otherwise, there are simply better options available that provided better performance in our testing. If you could spend a bit more, I'd recommend the Weddell Duo, which costs around $90. It was the only filter in our testing to completely eliminate both chlorine and all disinfection byproducts. If you're looking to stay under $50, the Sprite Slimline 2 is a better alternative and got the second highest overall performance score. At just $35, it's NSF certified and eliminated chlorine in our tests. However, it did not address DBPs either. And if you're concerned about hard water, most shower filters will not help despite what many companies claim. The only product we tested with the ability to reduce water hardness was the shower stick, though it's pretty expensive and requires complicated manual regeneration. Now, someone in the comments on one of my other videos recently suggested an alternative method to reduce water hardness for just one single shower head using a portable RV water softener. You could then combine an inline water filter to address chemical contaminants like chlorine and its byproducts and water hardness. If you'd like to see me test this setup and report back on my findings in terms of performance and feasibility, let me know down in the comments so I can make sure to prioritize this project. And also stick around to watch the next video about the Weddell Duo, which was the overall best performing shower filter in our testing. Click or tap to watch now.